This is Mama Thea of Asli Pure, and when I want to hear the story from the lion and the lioness, I listen to Lion Voice with Ross Kwasi Bonsu. Well, front was a son was born and a child was given. I want to ask you a question. Have you gotten your book? I listen to this Ethiopia Volume 1, The Rise of the Peace Warrior King. I've read the book in its entirety, and I must say it's very inspirational, very informative, and very, very historical, right? Then you call him Christopher when he was born, rain fall from the sky. Then you call him Christopher when he was grown in near plains, he fly. They call him. List of a ride, a young break the chain, weep not, don't cry, them call him. List of a ride, read your revelation, chapter 5, verse 5. Then, born near the city of Harar, the inspiration for Bob Marley's guitar. People crowd him like some big superstar, it no matter if I'm England. So, I, uh... I don't think I've ever seen the eye in a pants in my life. Um, and that time, were you already dressing? In um, this from way? about from about um, 1986, when I began to babysit for the Rastafari okay. family. Then you change your dress code. I changed my dress code, um, but you know, I come from five, a family of five, so we didn't really have <laughs> tons of. You know, different different items. Yes, you yes. know, it's five five children in Brooklyn yeah. in, in those times. Um, but no, I, I changed my dress code, and no, I, I don't wear pants. You know, I, I came up through the fire order. Yeah, I am. And you I'm know, I asked you because you were amongst twelve tribe ones, but I know oh, yeah. that as a Naya Bingi oh, yeah. sister, how did that? Yeah, I used to love the 12 Tribe um, dance. <laughs> I used to love when, you know, Happiness would say, did you tell your parents that you're going to stay and we're going to go out? They have. I used to love the different color dance parties mm -hmm. and all of that. Um, but my grounding is Theocracy Reign Order of the Naya Bingi. Okay. And in those days, um, yeah, that it was just fire. Just a fire, fire, fire order. You know, the Ayatas uh, represented themselves in one way, and this, this is just how it was. You know, it was very, very, very isolated. And even, even to this day, I joke with some of my sisters, and you know, we might comment on something, and I said, "Boy, who? Now being a re raise I and I, yeah, that order is. That's it. It's yes. in the order." How do you feel? Because even now, a lot of cistern have kind of eased up on the dress. You don't see as many cistern yeah. holding to the dresses. Uh, you know, right. you see the pants creeping, yeah. locks out the door. Yeah. You know, how do you, the eye as someone who came through that fire? Yes. How do you cite that in um, today's world? I think that um, there's a certain royalness, um, and that's that's in my in my new book, um, charting the matriarchal shift in the Rastafari movement, um, reclaiming a divine, her divine heritage. The actual book cover will be the artwork of um, Rast Daniel Hartman's son, Otto okay. Roberts. This is an image, this is a galley copy. Okay. Just to kind of see what it looks like, what it feels like, make edits. Yes. Right, so this is a... Well, this is a beautiful idea, the yes. same way. So. Yes, so in so. here there's a little piece about that. Um, I think that it's just a royalness. Mm -hmm. You know, it becomes our jewelry, it becomes our clothing. We don't go to the beauty shop, mm -hmm. so we have to get pretty fabric. The fabric is the hairdo, yes, yes. you know. And then African clothes are so available now. Yeah. You can get them everywhere, online, in the little corner shops. Even um, commercial stores mm -hmm. have a little section with cultural clothing. So, you know, just doing it for so many years. I mean, this is... L Literally year forty two, <laughs> I mean year year forty rather, yeah, yeah, so. um, and with my covenant year thirty four. Yes. So from I think I think it has to do with the age that I came in as well. So I only had a short time of uh, secular clothing. Yes. You know, and it's been four decades pretty much of you know. So it, it just gets ingrained in you, and I you know I would encourage those ayatas to really. You know, seek seek your your African beauty, your African pride. Mama, um, 
Mama Baby I said to I in Ethiopia the message that she wanted to give to the Ayatas when I and I went to Shashamani in 2009. Mm -hmm. That message was cover your wool and wear your tall skirts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, like I, I tell the students that I teach, looking at them with their melanated skin and I ask them of Africa and they don't know. I tell them the world expects you to know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you because the world expects you to know. When someone looks Spanish, you expect them to speak the language. They look Asian, you expect them to speak those languages. You look African, I expect you to look African. The world expects that they think that that's who you are. That's who you are. All right, so you were uh, explaining about you know keeping your covenant covered. I want to make sure we define these terms because not all of our viewers will be Rastafari, some of the lion pride is going to be just our regular Regina and sister. So can you just define what you mean by covenant? Right. So when, when I and I, Rastafari, say covenant, I and I are talking about our locks, putting on our locks, growing our locks. Um, the terminology covenant is attributed to the locks or the nati because it is a covenant that I and I take um, of a prophecy uh, from the Bible, yes. number six, um, to put on that covenant, it's the vow of the Nazarite. Mm -hmm. um, it is the no eating of the vine food, mm -hmm. you know, and I and I really start out fiery with that, you know, and I <laughs> burn <laughs> cucumber, <laughs> pumpkin, uh, tomato, grapes, mm -hmm. you know, all of the vine raisins, you know, in those early Iowa, mm -hmm. all of those um, fine foods and no razor shall come upon I and I head and mm -hmm. just the full vow, you know, the full vow. If someone transitions or dies suddenly before you, you know, you must how much of a turtle dove and mar or trim and right. So it's it's that vow. It's that vow, the, the vow that comes with the um, Rastafari liberty, especially within the um, theocracy reign order of the Naya Bingi. I know a lot of ones, you know, would say that they have evolved from that, from the Nazarite to the Melchizedek order, mm -hmm. where they may still eat divine food mm -hmm. and they don't, they're not going to trim if a dead body. Yes. You know, because they're saying now that, um, you know, Melchizedek was before the Nazarite vow, which come yes. out of the Levitical priesthood. Yes. Um, and then the Nazarite vow would tell you to trim after a certain amount of time and yes. and certain things. So, because I also, when I first came in, was under that yes. order in terms mm -hmm. of the vine food we gave it up for a little while. Yes. Um, but now, you know, I do love tomato, cucumber, all the yes. things that we eat them. Yes. Um, so, but I, I, I give thanks and, and I think that speaks to the training yes. that, that I received as a yes. young sister and we were yes. talking about um, the dress code because many generation, millennial Rastafari sister, they go back and forth between the royal to, you know, you might see them in a tight jeans pants, you might yes. see them in, you know, yes. so are we in danger of, of losing our African, that royal identity? Um, I, I don't think it's in danger. I think it's innate. Mm -hmm. It's in I and I. But um, I and I must, I call, it, it does. Um, I and I know the physique of the woman, you know, with her birthing hips mm -hmm. and her beautiful self. And, um, you know, that beauty is, it's, uh, it's reserved for a king man. It's, it's reserved for her, her own self and her own glory really is not just open and free to John public. So um, I think that the, um, you know, donning the eye self in garb that really accentuates that beauty and makes it beautiful and glorious. I think that's the heights that I and I need to really explore as Rastafari women and as, as um, African women. And one of the things that I love is that when I went to Africa and you're moving to Ghana, a certain place, you can't even tell who's Rastafari or sister from not because you see that this is really our culture. Yes. So you will see women with their head wrapped, mm -hmm. in their, I mean, dressed just like they are with no locks. Mm -hmm. These are just the regular 
African women from the town, mm -hmm. from the village, from wherever, and this is just how we live. And you yeah. see that Rastafari is not reinventing the wheel. Then no. we are just uh, reclaiming the tradition. The tradition. Yeah. So we don't need all of the, the nakedness. I'm glad you yeah. said it because if I say it, I will get cancelled. They will try to cancel I, yes. but they can't cancel Rastafari. Yes. You know, and so I'd like to I'd like to expound yeah. a little to say that, you know, I and I came from the time of riding our bicycles mm -hmm. with long skirts. Okay. Exercising and doing yoga with long skirts. We've evolved this revolutionary movement. Yes, talk that, about that, it. Yes, this revolutionary movement called Rastafari is also an evolutionary movement. Um, and I and I now have yoga pants. That's what's required. Mm -hmm. That is what's most comfortable. That is what works for what we're doing in that moment. Um, I and I who have ambitions to repatriate and, and go to, to Africa, as I and I explore the lands and trudge through, you know, the, the, the areas where we may go. You know, there's leggings, there's even pants. Um, but it, it's necessary for what? For the function. For the function. Mm -hmm. And I think um, those are the times when it happens. Um, there are people that talk about um, the temperatures in Babylon and it being so cold that they have to. Um, you know, I come from the times in New York with the three, four feet of snow that would shut down the city for too strong. Schools closed and everything. And you put your pants and your tights on and you put your little skirt over. Just never really letting yourself be without that which represents you fully. Yeah. Well, I listen last year, the first of the Almighty. And this is the Charles Match Quasi. Well, the Global Groundation, this one is for the Black family. Well, since we're talking about the Queens, then would I have to talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, man, I'll be go pal him girlfriend. That's nothing about Empress Men. Then, well, then, go on chant until the world end. Would I have to talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, all the girls we defend. Have to talk about Empress Men? Then, well, then, married in 1911. With a love that come from heaven. Oh. Well, then, you can tell all of your brethren. She raised Eilis and I see I children ah. Then, and she never deviate Never complain when the king a work late no, no. Always a food up on the youth template Who oh, was a joy if you see a smile on her face ah. So full of grace as she be fatic and hate Well then, all the people rejoice yeah. And spending at the children's choice ah. Well then, yeah. since you're talking about the queens then You would have to talk about them press men then Well then Man a big up all him girlfriend Not nothing but Empress Men then Well then, if we chant until the world end Would a half it talk about Empress Men then Well then, all the girls we defend Half it talk about Empress Men then Well then, well the joy a so daddy come With a dirty plan to come destroy the family One come separate the king from the queen With the Ottoman team come set up a dirty scheme King Rastafari ride and come in And destroy those boys we try intervene Them press men then so pure and clean And this is last year I mean no say him are the supreme Tell Bobby and say your dream Them a dream we come to burn down them Roman scheme Well then since you're talking about the queens then Half it about them press men then Well then Could I chant until the world end Half it about them press men then Well then I'm an big up all him girlfriend That's nothing about them press men then Well then All the girls we defend Half it about them press men then Well then Queen mother for the earth Remember she gave I little I see youth birth World War II she was so hard at work Heal all the soldiers when they get hurt oh, yeah, So full of grace she dress up in a long skirt Use her money if you build school and church Just oh, a smile on her face that make me know what life's worth oh, Well then, all the people rejoice And press men in the children's, children's choice, choice. See that.